Jeg spiller på den anden side. Jeg spiller på den anden side. Sing en sang, ikke? Sing en sang. Sing en sang. Den er nu en drikke til dig. Den er en bøsse. Velkommen til det næste Max Day-Mikes 1 conference. Jeg har en mikrofon, og jeg håber, at du kan lide. Jeg har med mig, og jeg har lært mig. Jeg har lært mig, og Kasper Smeichel og Christian Eriksen. Jeg har lært denne presskonference i engelsk, så jeg håber, at det er konvenient og hyggeligt med det. We'll open the questions right ahead, so please state your name, media, and who the question is for, and we'll try to catch up. Over here. Okay, Anthony Overton from the Irish Sun. Um, since the fight on the beat, obviously the beat for all the and all the beat fight, is given maybe in their approach because of the specific circumstances of tomorrow's game, do you expect them to change their game plan? Uh, no, I don't think so. They've been very steady uh, all the way. I saw they, they changed against Switzerland. They started in a different formation. And uh, they went back to the, their original one. And uh, I think they've been stable and uh, looking uh, good all the way. They had a good game against Switzerland at home. And, uh, well, the team seems to be the same. Play has been used all the time, you know, and uh, they built uh, a solid team. It's a massive game. Um, qualification for a major tournament, you know, for me personally, it will only be my second major tournament. So uh, it's a huge game and uh, a game that we were going to win. No, yeah, for me to say, it is a very, very, very big game. We know how much it means to to play for a national team and to be to be at a. Uh, yeah, at uh, Euros in, in our own country, play some games. Um, it will be a massive, massive thing. So uh, yeah, we need to, we need to to get there, and uh, yeah, to get there, we need to to get a result against Ireland. Yeah. Next one. Any more questions? Uh, okay. Just to talk again about uh, Denmark lacking respect for Ireland. First of all, I think I take that with Mick himself, you know, to just ask him what it means with that. But but uh, I think the play our players have respect for Ireland. I said it myself, you know, the, the team looks good, they're well organized, they're hard to beat. You know, they have a big heart. I, I played against them myself, you know, in the eighties and and there were a lot of great players in that team. And uh, I played with them in my, in my uh, career at Man City and, and Norwich. And they were really good teammates. And there were players you could sort of always, they were always there, you know, in, 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 in the matches, you know. And they always gave 100%. So we know exactly. I think all our players say they, it's, they don't like to play Ireland. And that, that means respect when, when players say that, you know. Because if you said we love to play Ireland, it would be really different. More questions? If not, this will be a quite short. <laughs> Are you <going> to <laughs> The fans had a great time here a couple of years ago when they were qualified for the World Cup. Um, how much do you want to do this for the Danish fans also to take them? Well, like we talked about before, like Christian said, the the, the possibility of having a uh, a tournament in our own country is is so small for a, a nation our size. So, to have the opportunity to qualify, to give our fans that kind of experience, to play a a, a game or two or however many it will be in a in a major tournament in our own country, is a huge motivational factor for us. And um, yeah, obviously, if we uh, if we can win tomorrow, get a result tomorrow, then uh, I'm sure they'll have a great night in Dublin as well. TV2 in Norway. Uh, for the players, uh, all your says is getting older and that uh, Europe will be the last thing he's, he's doing in his football career. Can you say a, words, a few words about uh, his motivation and how you experience that to 
stadium football after the Euro? I hope he stays as long as possible, uh, but of course it's uh, it's up to Uwe what he uh, what he wants. Uh, we know what's happened with the uh, with the national team, of course, and uh, yeah, it's up to Uwe. I think he will. When people see what he's done for national team, when whenever he's finished here, then people will see what he's done, and uh, he will definitely be, be able to get another good job. I think if he wants one, depends. Yeah, I don't think I can say it any better than that. Front row, uh, Paul Doyle from The Guardian. <coughs> Just a simple question about the team news. Do you have any new injury problems? Uh, no, everyone everyone is fit and um, so everyone is ready to play. Yep. Hey, Morris from the Herald. Can I ask Christian, in the five-one game here, you had a lot of space and a lot of freedom in the midfield. Do you think Ireland will learn the lessons from that and try to change? And then how do you account for that back yourself? Um, I think you asked me this question the other day, actually. Uh, but um, no, I think it'll be a completely different game than, than back then. Of course, we we got a very good result, and of course, we the game changed it at half time because they they changed a few players for second half, which created even more options for for us in midfield. Um, so it was a more open game, but I think tomorrow will be be less open than that the game was. But again, it depends on the results, and we know Ireland needs to win, but we also want to win. So uh, hopefully, it'll be a, a few chances. But uh, yeah, we do what we can. I mean, run wherever we can, and uh, and try to get the spaces we can. Colin, <laughs> well, yeah. uh, the pitch looked quite good here. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe. Contrast to to the one Friday, uh, is that, uh, is that uh, better for you uh, as a team or for Ireland? I think a good pitch is good for football, not just uh, not one in particular team. Um, we haven't been out to see it yet, so I'm not sure how good it is, but. Uh, it can't be worse than uh, than, what, than what we had uh, for the last game, so. Um, yeah. Remember two years ago, you came from a bad pitch to a good pitch and. Yeah, I think I think that game is a little bit of an an isolation. If you see the other games, how tight they've been, that I don't think really you can count that in. But um, the pitch is certainly a, a factor in any football game, and uh, just along with the weather and the balls and whatever, you know, they all uh, they all play their part. Last couple of questions. Well, in football, um, uh, you either win, have a draw, or, or lose. You know, and, and that is always uh, on the books before you start the game, because uh, last time we were here, they scored one nil on a, on a, in a set piece, which one of our players deflected. You know, and, and Duffy came in and, and knocked in one nil, and that wasn't really our plan at all. And uh, but we, we fought, fought our way back, you know, because the goal came early and. As long as you have minutes enough, you know, to create something and believe in your team, you know, and believe in doing the same thing as as we've done for the last three years, I think uh, thing will be be good, you know. But uh, error can happen in football, and that that is the fascinating thing with football as well. You can play well and lose, and you can play badly and and win. So we have to be concentrated. We have to work as a team, and we have to do exactly what we've done in the games before. And the best example is um, probably the Switzerland game at home in Parken. We play a really good team from, from Switzerland. And the boys were worked very, very hard and we stayed in our organization and scored late and, and we, we got a win. So we have, to, we have to use the 90 minutes plus and, uh, and um, operate as we've done before. That's our main thing. Last two questions, one here and then one at the side. Okay, um, your team needs a draw, but Ireland need a win to qualify. How does that influence um, your thinking and how the game might, might go? I think we uh, we will play as, uh, the game as normal. Really, we I think don't think we could go out. You know, we 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 don't we done it once in in, uh, in in the last three years. That was against France in in the World Cup. We played for a point, and France played for a point, and it was a boring game. But uh, we won't get that tomorrow because Ireland probably come forward, you know, and, and want to win the game. And then we have to just operate as we've done in every game. And uh, we press on the same way, we stay in the same way, we defend in the same way. And we, uh, we, have had, hasn't, we hasn't been talking about anything else but that. 
So we will be exactly what we've done before. And the very last question, Amir. Christian, there's three, maybe four Sheffield United players probably going to be in the Ireland team tomorrow. Most of them have come into the side since your last meeting. From what you've seen the other week against them, can they bring a new threat that maybe Ireland haven't possessed before? No, I think I think they come in with a lot of confidence. I think Sheffield this season in, uh, in Premier League has done very well, uh, and the Irish players as well, of course, for for being part of that team. And so of course, they'll be in with with a lot of confidence. But it is completely different playing for your for your club and for country. So of course, it, uh, they play a bit different than uh, than what they do at Sheffield. So uh, yeah, I mean, they come in with confidence, but in the end, it's a different game. Uh, yeah, he has he has a tough one to beat though. Uh, so yeah, if he's gonna beat the Hurricane, then uh, and then it's gonna be tough. Um, but no, he's uh, he's done very well. I mean, he, he's trained with us for for a while now, and he played a few uh, few games in the preseason. Um, he's a good player. He's um, I wouldn't say he's it's bad to say he's like Hurricane because he's obviously not. But yes, similar. He's a uh, he's good on the ball, good finishing, and makes some good runs. So. Yeah, he's uh, he's still young, so he has a lot to learn. But he's a he's a good um, good good lad. That was it. Thank you very much for coming. Have a good work. Thank you.